Hello, my friends. This is Lucas with Miller Card Trading. Back at it again with 2024 Bowman. Up to this point, I opened a hobby box and a hobby jumbo box, and they both were really good. If you've seen that video, if you haven't, check it out. I could show you the best card I've gotten so far. This sweet Dylan Cruz. Uh, Bowman Spotlights insert orange to 25. That uh, apparently is a hobby exclusive, the Bowman Spotlight insert. And it's rare this year. So that's pretty cool. I've actually got it on auction on eBay right now. So we'll see what kind of price it fetches. So I did a survey on my YouTube channel to see what you guys thought I should open next. And this is kind of what I wanted to to do anyways uh and it, it worked out it got the most votes and i just today received my case of bowman blasters 40 of these bad boys 2024 20, bowman so 23 bowman blasters were incredibly good um they they had as many numbered cards and autos in one blaster just about as you would get out of a hobby box and uh of course you know the odds of getting the really good autos aren't as good in a blaster but as far as numbered cards and chrome cards chrome first the blasters were the way to go last year so i'm hoping it'll be the same way this year so i've got 40 chances to see what we can get and before i start leave a like on my video if you could it helps me out go to my channel check it out subscribe and that would be really cool and without any further ado why don't we check out bowman blasters you know what i <clears throat> while i was waiting for this to come i opened a few blasters i saw um at walmart i think i've opened 11 of them 11 blasters and to tell you the truth, <laughs> they haven't been very good so far. I'm hoping that that was just the luck of the draw, the bad luck, because no autos and very few numbered cards so far. You should, from what from what I've read, you should get an auto about one in every five blasters, uh, uh, right around there. So let's hope that's how it works out with the case. And let's hope for some monsters. Of course, every one of these blasters is going to have a lunar glow, unnumbered parallel. And if you get the right name for the lunar glow, it's a great card. There's going to be tons of inserts in her, and we, we've seen all the inserts. They're, they're really nice this year for sure. Uh, let's see paper base inserts uh, paper prospects and chrome prospects so I got four different piles of course so have you guys opened any Bowman so far if you have what's your favorite uh, variant I was really actually impressed with my hobby and my jumbo box so there's our first lunar glow Brock Vandenberg and here we've got a Dylan Cruz chrome first and a Bryce Matthews chrome first so I should definitely be able to build a set of the Bowman chrome prospects uh, hopefully maybe more than one set um those tend to sell really well last year i think i only sold one uh one set but i didn't open quite this many blasters i don't think i definitely didn't get a case of blasters so let's see how many blasters i have to open to get our first auto and also how many numbered cards are we going to run across in this? 
In 2023, it was just about every blaster had a numbered card. It was pretty incredible. Prospect power up. Huh, that had four paper. Usually it's only got three uh, paper prospect cards. This time it had four. Curious. Ellie de la Cruz. So, of course, we're looking for Bowman first prospect autos, but you can also get good rookie autos out of Bowman. And I would imagine uh, various veteran autos as well. Though I'm not sure I haven't studied the checklist that well. Okay. And there's the last pack of our first box, and there hasn't really been much in this first one. Nothing, in fact. Just our lunar glow. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here we've got a green paper. Aha! We've got a green uh, paper uh, prospect auto in our first box, Enrique Bradfield Jr. 25 of 99. Hey, that's a nice one. Low numbered prospect auto. It's not a first, but that's okay. He's a good, uh, good prospect for sure. So there's our first hit. Boom. It's already better than the Walmart blasters. Who are really looking for the autos? This guy here. Let's hope we can get one. Okay, so decent first box. We got a numbered card, but it also happens to be an auto, so. I think I'll make a pile of the Lunar Glows, maybe over here. There's going to be 40 of those guys. And, of course, I'll be able to build sets, uh, the prospect sets. The big one, the 100 card uh, insert set. The uh, Bowman Scouts Top 100. If you can build that whole set, that thing sells for a good a good price. So, hopefully I'll be able to build that out uh, of the cards I get out of this case. I already have a pretty good head start on it from... The hobby and the jumbo and the other blasters that I've opened. But these 40 blasters, yep, they ought to do the trick. Alright, here's our next lunar glow. Oh, it's upside down for some reason. Just an accident of the machine, I would guess. Let's see who we got. Miles Naylor. It's a Bowman first, so that's good. <clears throat> Lunar Glow Parallel. I might add that Lunar Glows this year are much, much more Lunar Glowier than they were last year. They were sort of a light green that you almost didn't notice. This year they're much uh, darker, more striking green. Alright. Bowman Top 100, there's Dylan Cruz. So they've got him at number 4. I'm sure Jackson Holiday is number 1. I don't know, Skeens has got to be in there somewhere. Lom, George Lombard. Uh, yeah. Folks like that. The top five. I'm surprised Dylan Cruz was only number four. Alright, last pack. Box number three. Oh, I think there's something here. It's a chromy card, and it's an auto. Heck yeah. Raylan Heredia? 
It's a Bowman first. Right on. There's our second autograph out of three boxes. These are definitely surpassing the Walmart boxes. I'm not sure why or how. Pretty sure they're the same boxes, but you never know with Walmart. They could be buying a some sort of a second-hand version of the cards. You know what I mean? All right, our second auto out of three boxes. Fantastic. There is Tommy Troy. And we got Mike, no, yeah, Mike Bove and Kendall George. All right. So that's our first, uh, our first Bowman first auto of the day. Very nice. Phillies prospect looks like. See how they, they gave the guys a nice big area to sign in on the card this year. Although a lot of these guys have such a simplistic little small auto. I don't know if it's because they have to sign so much. Uh, their autographs tend to be just more like initials than, a, than an actual autograph. I mean this guy he's got the r at the beginning of his name and then uh, a line with a squiggle at the end <laughs> some auto huh but i suppose if i had to sign my name you know two thousand times in a row it might ruin my autograph too i don't know or you might want to just take your time and do it have an autograph like uh i don't know mariano rivera's or randy johnson's there's colton ledbetter and drew jones <coughs> excuse me some guys have incredible autographs most of them are aged or retired players that have the really nice autographs all right here's our next lunar glow and i think i see might be a speckle that we have in this pack. There's Juan Soto. And what do we have here? Ah, oh my. It's a very nice. This is uh, the AI insert, a speckle variation of it, Ellie De La Cruz. Very nice. So that's an unnumbered parallel. Oh no, it is numbered. What am I saying? 78 out of 150. Ellie De La Cruz AI insert. That's a nice card for sure. Right on. Any good, any numbered Ellie card is hot right now. He is just a maniac on the base, on the field right now. Let me fix that. Cranking hits and stealing bases. Man, what a great card. I didn't even know you could get a... Is that a, is that a speckle or a mini diamond? That's a mini diamond. Mini diamond parallel. Numbered to 150. Very sweet. Then right after that, we've got the lunar glow of Brooks Brannon. Man, I think I just got bit by a mosquito. Right in my house. Oh, we have another numbered card here, you guys. Ha! This box is good. Is it an auto? Nope. But it's a Bowman first. And that is... What do you call that? That's, so that's a... Magenta Lunar? Or... Purple. Purple Lunar, possibly. So that is 26 of 199. Carlos Sanchez, Bowman first. Right on, another good numbered card. Excellent. If it keeps going like this, we're going to definitely run out of space up here. Alright, we got uh, George Lombard Jr. 
prospect power up. All right, so that is, yes, four boxes so far. Four boxes and four hits. You gotta love that. Absolutely gotta love it. Box number five. Man, that Ellie is so awesome. <laughs> love that card. That AI insert already looks cool, but now with the mini diamond finish, man, it looks even cooler. All right, Gunner. I was just watching the Mariners and the Orioles play before I started opening these. And, of course, first inning, Gunner cranked a home run. Yep. I thought the M's were doing good when they got up first. They scored a run in the first inning. Nice. Oh, and then what did the Orioles do? They scored five runs in the first inning. <laughs> so that piddly little one run didn't look so impressive after that. Oh, we got a shiny card here. Is this just going to be a... Uh, numbered parallel, or is it going to be an auto? Up, oh, it's a refractor. Diaverson Gutierrez. Prospect for the Mets. Number two, four ninety-nine. All right, yet another numbered card. See now, this is making me very suspicious about the Walmart blasters. Because all I got was a couple paper parallels. And these are way better. So either someone's searching those boxes or they're a separate release. I don't know. Something. Because I bought them two different times. About five and once and about six once. And boy, they were nothing like these. All right, there's our Lunar Glow. I was wondering if you can get autographed Lunar Glow cards. I don't, I've never seen one, so I don't think you can. Ooh, Mamma Mia. Nice. A Dylan Cruz Lunar Glow, baby. All right. So there's an unnumbered parallel that's going to have some good value. For sure. Check that baby out. Right on. Excellent. All right, we got Johan Fran. Wow. And Diego Benitez Bowman firsts. Okay. Here's a paper parallel. Will it be an auto or just a numbered card? It is, wow, a purple Volpe. Nice. 221 out of 250. Excellent. Any Volpe card is good as well. Right on. Okay, purple Volpe. Booyah. So far, I, that's my first paper. No, wait. Okay, so this auto was a paper. Uh, so that's two, only two paper uh, hits so far. The rest of them are chrome. Ethan Salas. His first is in, uh, oh, I put that in the wrong stack. His first was in, what, Bowman Draft, I think. Shohei. Oh, I think we got another numbered card here. Let it be an auto. It's a shimmer. Anthony Baptiste. Green shimmer. Beautiful card. Uh, 84 of 99. 
man, two numbered cards in this box. Oh, man. I do love Bowman Blasters. All right. So far, so very good. Let's keep rolling. Box number seven. And let the number cards and autos run like water. So just in case you guys were curious, I got this case from Dave and Adams. That's where I get pretty much most of the stuff I open uh, on my channel. Not all of it, of course. Once in a while, I'll order um, a box or something. Yeah, box or boxes from eBay or maybe blowout cards once in a while. Uh, but mainly Dave and Adams. I've just found them to be, you know, have good prices, free shipping, um, fast shipping, good customer service, all of that, all that cool stuff. All right. Here is another paper numbered card. This time it's that cool purple paisley pattern. And it's a Bowman first of Cooper Pratt. 27 of 199. That's the first paisley one that I've gotten. I really like that. Nice looking. So, a little more frequent with the paper parallels now. See, we'll stick that with the Volpe. Purple Paper Parallels. Number 19, Ricky Tiedemann. All right. Moving right along. Dansby and we've got another refractor you guys Roman Anthony out of 499 another pack or box with two numbered parallels and this is a refractor Roman Anthony the Red Sox Let's see where's the other one we'll put him right there Gabriel Gonzalez and J.D. Gonzalez. Those Gonzalez boys. Alright. Looks like we got another numbered card, you guys. Let's let it be an auto. It's a paper. Paper purple. Spencer Jones paper purple. Right on. Another paper parallel. Number 250. So we got Volpe and Spencer Jones for the Yankees. Right on, that's 217 out of 250. Shoot, maybe we'll get the whole Yankees set. Uh, Alfredo Duno, number 97. Brock Wilkin, Luis Angel Acuna. But I am ready for that third auto. Henry Davis. And let this be it. Nope. Another purple Yankee parallel. Crazy. This time it's a uh, chrome Roderick Arias. Uh, 108 out of 250. Man, the purples are just flying out of here. Purple, purple, purple. I'm going to have to put this one over here, I guess. All right, Gunner. Oh, it looks like we got another green, my friends. 
Green, green, green. Is it an auto? It is not. Estuar Suero. Bowman first. Uh, 43 of 99. I really thought that was going to be an auto. Okay. Box number 10. We're hitting the quarter way mark right here. Box number 10, and we are swamped with numbered cards. Two autos, but that still makes it one in five boxes, doesn't it? So, I guess we're right on par with the autos. Uh, the numbered cards, I'm just blown away. Absolutely blown away. It's as good as or better than last time. I mean, last year is what I meant. Looks like box number 10 might be a little lacking. Tyler Soderstrom. And that's that. We got one last pack out of box number 10. Then I'm going to take a little break. Charge my microphone and then get right back at it. All right, come on. All right. Oh, that's number eight, Marcelo Meyer. He's he's pretty high up there. Okay, my friends, Carlos Sanchez, Isaiah Drake. Box number 10 is in the dust. Let's see. Out of the first 10, we got two autos. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbered cards. And actually, 11 if you want to count the auto that's numbered. 11 numbered cards out of 10 boxes. How are you going to beat that? All right. And here we go, on our way to box number 11. I cleaned up the place a little bit here. Put my some of my piles away in boxes and so such and such. These stacks of base cards start to get out of hand after a while, so... Gotta clean them up. Alright, we are looking for our next auto, aren't we? Lunar Glow, Jordan Westberg. Oh, I think we got something here, my friends. What will it be? Okay, it's kind of sort of stuck there. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Nice. I thought these were a uh, hobby box exclusive. I swear I read that. But man, here is a Jason Dominguez Bowman Spotlights. I think that's an Aqua to 125. Nice. Very nice. Great name. Great parallel and a great insert set. Jason Dominguez Bowman Spotlights. Heck yeah. <laughs> Stoked. I, I really thought that that was hobby exclusive. Boom. That's a nice one. Very, very nice. Dominguez cards seem to do well. Uh, there's Kevin Sim on the Lunar Glow. So that, I suppose that... Oh, bump the camera. I suppose that could be our case hit. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, it's certainly a type of case hit. Cooper Pratt. Oh, there's a hiding card there. Yep. Skeens. Skeens. Josh Rivera. Antonio Anderson. All right. Sweet card. Actually, it was important. Okay. So, Shohei and Judge always come together with Quinn Priester. I, I would imagine... Does Shohei have an auto in Bowman? I don't know. Probably. 
super rare one. I've never pulled a Shohei Auto, of course. I do own one. I had to buy it off of eBay. I got a pretty good price though, because I got it in an auction. Not bad. And then Ellie, he's always at the front of the pack, so it's like the uh you know the collation is always kind of the same in these blasters. Number 29, Dalton rushing. Where are you rushing off to, Dalton? Wyatt Langford. Ben Williamson. Oh, that's a Mariner Bowman first. And Byron Churio. Hey, okay, we need another box. Well, lo and behold, I have another one. Here we go. Number 12. And we are sorely due another auto. Although that Dominguez Bowman Spotlights is probably worth more than any plain old Bowman first of a no-namer. I'm going to have to go ahead and say that. So the Ellie numbered one, the Ellie numbered card and the Dominguez numbered card, those two are probably the most valuable cards I've gotten so far. Definitely. Two very nice hits. Because I've found a lot of times that uh, some of the numbered cards can be much more valuable than a lot of the autograph cards, which seems counterintuitive, but uh, it seems like they run some of these autographs to death until the point where they're basically not worth anything. And it's kind of a bummer, although the the sentiment is still there. The player held the card. The player signed the card. It's his real name. And that's, if you're a collector, that's really what's important, not the value. I mean, yeah, the value is important, but uh, you know what? I think we have a shimmer here, you guys. So I'll quit jabbering. No more jabbering. Let it be an auto. Oh, it's a Bowman Top 100 parallel of Jace Young. That's a mini diamond to 150. Right on. He's number 49. Or is it Jace Young? Jace Young? I don't know. Number 23. All right. So I forgot you could get parallels of that insert. Right on. Might as well lay that one sideways. Cool. And right behind that, we've got Byron Churio, Bowman First Lunar Glow. That's a nice one. Any Bowman First Lunar Glow is a good card. Okay, Larry Butler. Okay, I think we have something green coming up here. It's definitely green, and it is Xavier Isaac, 74 of 99, Tampa Bay. Hmm. Eighth ranked Tampa Bay Rays prospect. All right, another green. I do like green parallels. 99 is nice low number I that squeedle got me on the ankle and we got more paper prospects and more chrome prospects and no auto come on now where's all the autos we got a card uh, we got a chrome it's an auto finally Finally, 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 finally got an auto. Right behind Corbin. Let it be a whopper. It's a first. It's a Bowman first. It's George Lombard Jr. Ho, 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 ho. Booyah. Oh, my God. That's the one I said I wanted. Georgie. Yay for Georgie. <laughs> so, see, even his auto... G L George Lombard. Oh, I can't believe I got a George Lombard. So awesome. New York Yankees prospect. 
definitely one of the top five, maybe even top three, uh, pegged as the sixth ranked prospect and best defender in the organization by MLB Pipeline. Boom. Oh, I'm so stoked. We got a big name, you guys. Yes. GL, you know what? GL is going to get himself a 55-point top loader. Just for, you know, protection. Jesus. God. GL. George Lombard. And that's totally cool that it's just a base auto. I don't care. That is awesome. Huge thumbs up for that card. Uh, Arhun Namala, number 31. That's another another auto to look out for. Oh, I'm so stoked. I got the Lombard. That's too cool. Johnny Farmello, Nassan Sanatello. Yes, Georgie Lombard. All right, let's see. What are we on, my friends? We are just four. Okay. Yeah, box number 17. 18, 19, 20. Yeah, box number 17. Oh, I just still can't believe I got the Lombard. That is ridiculous. All right. What else are we going to find? Look at that. There's another numbered parallel. This is a paper. Looks like a pink or a magenta. Roman Anthony. 97 of 299. And the numbered cards just keep a flowing. You gotta love that. Alrighty. What will we find next? We have something here, you guys. It's a speckle. Let this be an auto. Nope, not an auto. Kendall George. Speckle. Uh, 266 of 299. More numbered cards. That's our first speckle, though, for sure. Yeah, we got a mini diamond, but not a speckle, so. All right, the Dodgers prospect, Kendall George. Not a first, but still good. Um, all right. Nothing in this box so far. Might be one of those, one of those nothing boxes. But you, that's okay. Oh! I spoke too soon. <laughs> There's our numbered card. Looks like another pink paper parallel. The triple P. Pink paper parallel. Who's it going to be? Jordan Walker. Nice. Nice. Uh, 38 of 175. Alright. Jordan Walker. He's always good to get parallels. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I got one more stand. I'll put him over here. I'm running out of stands. Gonna have to start consolidating. And Adrian Santana and Trayshawn Walton. Alright, this is the very last pack of the first half of the case. Is this going to be a nothing box? Looks like it might be. Bowman Top 100, Enrique Bradfield. Again. Jaron Elkins, Jacob Wilson. Rainer Arias. Yep, no, that was a nothing box. It's okay. Austin Ramirez and Ryan Vanderhei. Halfway, baby. Halfway. All right, rolling right along here, my friends. We are halfway through the blaster case. And why stop there? Let's keep rolling. 
I have to wonder if this uh, Bowman Spotlight's Jason Dominguez, if that's my case hit. I'm still curious about that. I know that the Spotlight's can be considered a case hit. Uh, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's still a monster card lurking in this half a case. Another uh, sort of case hit type card. But all we can do is keep looking. We got something? Yep, we got something. It's a speckle, I believe. I think we're due for a parallel auto for sure. Let this be not an auto. Alan Castro, Bowman first. That's a nice card. Speckle to two ninety nine, one fifty nine to two ninety nine. Bowman first. All right, that's a good hit. All right, we got Henry Davis. Oh, we got something. Looks like it's probably just a refractor pair. Oh, it's an auto. A refractor parallel auto. It's a Bowman first. It is German Ramirez. Or Hermann. However you want to say that. Oh, what am I mean? It's not a refractor. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess it looked refractory at first. But it's not. So it's another basically... Uh, initials type of an autograph those seem to be really common these days but there we go Bowman first prospect auto for the uh, Astros all right that is auto number four very very nice I thought we were due and we were Okay, I think we got something here finally. Whoosh, that was certainly a dry spell. Okay, I think this might be our first blue. Bowman first. Jacob Burke. Blue refractor to 159 out of 150. I love blue refractors. They really are one of my favorites. That's a beautiful looking card. So finally, we get a nice chrome parallel. Chicago White Sox, Jacob Burke. Alrighty. Brock Wilkin. And there's Jacob Burke again. And we got Matt Shaw and Samuel Zavala. All right. Jason Dominguez. Oh. Isaiah Drake, Camilo Diaz. All right, last pack of box number 30. That leaves us 10 blasters left. Only 10. Oh no. Oh jeez. I'm constantly hitting the camera. Number 88, Colin Hauk. Sounds like the sound a cat makes when it hawks up a hairball. Hauk. Uh, Jared Dickey, Carlos Sanchez. Now I'm going to clean up all this stuff. And prepare for the final stretch. Alright folks. Thanks for joining me for the final push. Ten more blasters. And let's hope ten more numbered cards. And at least one more auto. I would like to think I would get two more autos. But 
they've been a little lighter than I expected. So far, we've got four out of 30 blasters. So that's a little less than the one every five or six boxes. That's like one every eight boxes. Uh, so hopefully we'll catch up on that. We'll get a couple out of this last 10. But we'll see. Getting the George Lombard, that's, that's as good as two or three or more of the no-namer autos so can't complain don't want to complain junior oh we got a numbered card here looks like a sky blue paper who's it gonna be not a first ethan salas nice one out of 4.99 all right that's a good card that's our first paper parallel in a little while. All right, put him up right there. Okay, Jordan Lawler, Bowman AI. We got Lombard and Spencer Nivens. Oh, look at there. There's the answer to my previous question. Are there still paper autos in the blasters? And there we go. Jackson Job <laughs> with his tiny squiggle of an auto. All right. So there's another autograph. That's our actually our second paper one first paper one was a parallel uh let's see what are we gonna do here move that over there put him right there jackson job that's a good one For sure so we're starting off good with a numbered card and an auto number 74 joendry vargas so that is more like it. Numbered card and an auto makes for a good blaster box. And we've got another numbered card right on is it another paper i think it is is it a yellow yeah yellow felon and celestine to 75. that's a nice one excellent 10 of 75. that's our lowest numbered card that's our lowest numbered card for sure right on a card hiding behind there another paper parallel crazy ah it's verlander this time haven't gotten too many parallels of uh non-prospects this is one of the only ones here i mean we've got the ellie and the dominguez earlier all right, Justin Verlander uh, out of four ninety nine. Oh, we got something here. The Bowman first. I think it's an auto. All right, my uh, thought came true. We did get two autos in our last ten here. It's a Bowman first. J D Gonzalez. He's got a decent auto. Right on, San Diego Padres. 
Bowman first. J.D. Gonzalez. Right on. Let's see. He is the number 214 prospect for the MLB draft. Okay. Right on. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, I'm out of stands. Okay, so we're going to stack these papers together. And there we go. So that's two, four, six autos now. We're starting to catch up. Edgar Caro, number 57. Ralphie. Aiden Miller, Bowman first. Ryan Burroughs. Jung Hu Lee. Up, oh, we got another paper parallel. <laughs> so crazy. All of a sudden, it's all paper. It's Bowman first. It is Jaron Elkins. Bowman first out of four ninety nine. Yeah, that's three sky blues we've gotten sort of right here at the end. Okay, we got a parallel. It's yet another paper. <laughs> so crazy. It's a, what, lime green or something. Another Ethan Salas out of 399. Definitely a lime green. Because a uh, regular green would be to 99. Unless it's neon green. Could be called neon green. Alright, that's our second Ethan Salas paper parallel. Marco Luciano. AI. Then we got Brooks Brandon and Travis Honeyman. Next. Oh, we got something here. A green shimmer, baby. All right. Who's it gonna... It's an auto. Ha! Ah, yes, another auto. Oh, let it be a good one. It's a Bowman first. Who's it gonna be? Abimelech Ortiz. Wow, he's got a nice autograph. For sure. Green Shimmer, Abimelech Ortiz, 86 of 99. Bowman first for the Rangers. All right, good card. For sure. Okay, let's see. Let's put him right there by Lomby. And we're just sort of kind of running out of space here. So we're going to put him with Jackson Job. Uh, Ronnie Hernandez and Miles Naylor. And now, for real, we're on our last box. Did you double check that case? Nope, no more. No more multiplying in the case. Will we get one more hit? Rookie of the Year, Curtis Mead. And Jacob Burke and How You Lead. Our last Lunar Glow is going to be who? Colson Montgomery.
Kemp Alderman, Carson Rocaforte. Come on now, don't skunk us in our last couple car look couple boxes. There's number one number one hundred again, James Triantos. Dylan Head and Cam Collier. But you know what? If we are skunked in the last couple of boxes, big deal because we got a nice burst of autos right here at the end. And that was cool. Uh, Roman Anthony. And Jared Cerna and Daniel Susak. Aha! Our one more numbered card, you guys. Excellent. And it's a purple chrome. Very nice. That's going to be Luis Angel Acuna. Right on. 170 out of 250. That's a nice last card. For sure. Mets. All right. Jordan Lawler. And we got Abraham Nunez and Cole Foster. And now we are on our last pack of the entire case. And if you're still watching after all this time, I really appreciate it. Or you just really like sports cards. What? No way. <laughs> I got an auto in my last pack. Holy cripes. It's a paper, another paper auto. It's not a Bowman first. Hunter Barco. Huh. I hadn't, I don't remember even seeing this guy's name before. Hailed as the 11th best pirate. Uh, farmhand. Right on. Pirates. Prospect. Another auto, you guys. I can't believe it. In the very, very, very last pack. <laughs> Love it. Johnny Farmello. Alfredo Duno. And our last two chromes. Ty Pete. Luke Keyshaw. All right, my friends, I've cleaned up my big old mess, got it nice and organized here. And here is the haul from my case of Bowman 2024 Blasters. So, monster stack of Lunar Glows, including a nice Dylan Cruz and a Jackson Holiday. 40 of those suckers. Very nice cards. I probably won't sell those all individually. I'll probably pull a few to sell. Uh, one or two to keep. And sell the rest as a lot. Uh, or a partial a partial set. Whatever you want to call it. So there's that. That's some value for sure. Now these little groupings here. This is my first 10 boxes. Second 10 boxes. Third and fourth 10 boxes. So let's check out. The 28 numbered cards I got, not including the numbered autos. So, we got a Spencer Jones paper, purple to 250. Anthony Volpe, purple to 250. This is a purple pattern or purple paisley, they call it. That's the 199 Cooper Pratt. Then we got S.U.R. Suero, Bowman, Bowman first green to 99 very nice now our two chrome refractors roman anthony and diaverson gutierrez those are numbered to 499 then we got a purple 
Chrome Roderick Arias. That's the 250. Then we got the purple, purple Lunar Crater. Carlos Sanchez Bowman first for the Reds. Another nice card. Anthony Baptiste. Green Shimmer. I love Shimmer Parallels. They're one of my favorites for sure. Uh, Anthony Baptiste Bowman first for the Mets. That is out of 99 and then this whopper right here ellie de la cruz bowman ai insert mini diamond parallel number to 150 78 of 150 one of the best cards out of the entire case booyah very nice i don't know if that ellie could be considered a case hit or not the next round We've got a Roman Anthony pink or magenta to $2.99. That's paper. Jordan Walker to $1.75. That's paper. Then Xavier Isaac to $99. Green refractor. Then we got Kendall George. This is a speckle. That's the one uh, $2.99. Dodgers. Then a very nice... Bowman Top 100 uh, Mini Diamond Insert. That's to 150 as well. That's Jace Young. And then the Monster. Jason Dominguez. Bowman Spotlights. Number to 125. I think that makes it an Aqua. This is probably the most valuable non-auto hit out of the case. Next round. This was... The stretch of, of boxes that had the least amount of numbered cards. So I only got two numbered cards out of the uh, boxes um, 31 through, no, 21 through 30. Jacob Burke, blue refractor to 150. That is a White Sox Bowman first. And then Alan Castro, that's another Bowman first, but that's a speckle. Uh, two two ninety nine, lovely card. Then, last but not least, a whole bunch of paper parallels that came through in the very end. We have a Justin Verlander to four ninety nine sky blue, Jaron Elkins four ninety nine sky blue. That's a Bowman first, and then Ethan Salas to four ninety nine, and an Ethan Salas. Uh, lime green or neon green to $3.99. Felnin Celestine, this is a nice low number to $75. That's a great card. And then Luis Angel Acuna, purple refractor to $2.50. So a nice broad spectrum of chrome and paper inserts, all different kinds, and a really good haul. And last but not least, we got eight autographs. Eight out of 40 blasters brings us exactly to one auto per every five blasters, which was my target and what I hoped I would get. When I came into the last 10 boxes, I only had uh, four, no, five. Yeah, I had five. And I couldn't believe it that we, we pulled three or four in the last 10 boxes so we've got we put uh three paper autos this is hunter barco uh pirates prospect jackson job nice one uh detroit tigers paper auto and then enrique bradfield jr that's paper but it's also a parallel so it's numbered to 99. then we got jd gonzalez that's a Bowman first chrome refractor. Very nice. He's got a great auto. That's the uh, San Diego Padres. Then another Bowman chrome first. This is the Astros, German Ramirez, or Hermann, however you say it. Then Raylan Heredia. Kind of just an R with a squiggle. Gotta dig it. Bowman chrome first for the Phillies. Then. Our shimmery, most shimmery looking auto. 
uh, green shimmer to 99 it's a Bowman first and that's Ebimelech Ortiz he's got a very nice auto for the Texas Rangers that's a really good one and then our Whopper our most excellent autograph top three prospect I would say George Lombard Bowman first chrome auto for the New York Yankees that's very valuable and very nice hit so what do you guys think did, did I get my money's worth out of that case I think I did not only do I have this in value but all of the sets I'm gonna be able to build um, the Bowman chrome prospect sets are the most valuable uh, and then there's the uh, base set paper those sets sell for a little bit and I'll be able to build multiple of those and then the Bowman prospect paper sets uh, those sell as well so there's a good bit of value in the base cards but this right here this will keep me busy for a long time and keep me funded for my next round of boxes I really appreciate you guys watching I know this was a long video uh, please like and subscribe it really helps my channel grow and I will see you in the very next video thank you